was second day in pads practice? Uh, I mean, the intensity out here was amazing. I thought everybody went 100%. You see guys making competitive catches. You see guys going up, uh, deflecting passes. Shoot. Uh, I got to make a couple catches on the back end over here. Had uh, two throws by Caleb, and I just got to go up and make some uh, catches instead of fading away from the ball. But other than that, yeah, it was a great day. What's been the most difficult thing about kind of learning a new offense and just working together so far? Uh, the little things. There's so much in the details. Like, you guys, we have a whole bunch of transfers coming in. So we all trying to figure out the details, figure it out, figure it out. We got uh, different terminology, different uh, perspectives of certain things. So we got to change our perspective from the last school to this school. And honestly, it's, it's just going to take time. You got to repeat it over and over and over just to get it. And I asked you this last practice, but how do you feel about, you know, the competition and how that pushes you each practice to be a better player? I mean, shoot, we have a whole bunch of good corners, a whole bunch of great guys who just love the game, uh, great in their technique. Um, and then the wide receiver group, you know, we're battling every single day. Everybody has everybody has that edge. Everybody wants to be that next guy here. Everybody wants to be that next Drake London or Juju. So you see guys going head to head and – at the end of the day, we all dabbing up each other. We all hoping for each other to make the next big play. And that's all that matters. It's a brotherhood. What have you seen from Caleb and uh, Miller Moss so far? Man, uh, shoot. Just seeing, uh, you know, Caleb. Caleb's a leader out here. So, like, just seeing how he goes about things like, uh, I didn't make those two catches. He's like, hey, pick your head up. You got the next one. Next thing you know, I'm running a PCP. Uh, next thing you know, like, I'm running a bang route. And just off of that, like, we got to – just, I needed that. I needed that just to keep going, to forget about the last two plays, go ahead with the next play. And then Miller, Miller's a leader as well. So just seeing him how he, shoot, you see, usually see backup quarterbacks, third down, they don't care about anything. This guy's the leader. This guy's stepping up. He wants to be coached. He wants to be coached hard. And you see every day, like, he's going out there and he's trying to compete with Caleb. He is competing with Caleb. Hold on. This, he's making some great throws. Some great throws. <laughs> There's always a competition with like, everyone of you know who's on the inside and who's playing outside. Like, have you have you kind of made that? Uh, have you kind of put put your foot down where you wanna where you wanna be on the outside on the inside? No, because you gotta be versatile as a receiver. You gotta be able to be inside and outside. That's where you get the money. That's where you get paid. Because honestly, if guys go ahead and double team you over top, you don't want to be taken out of the play, so they're gonna move you to the slot. Next thing I'm going up uh, against the safety, or I'm going against the nickels. That's what we want. And plus, we also want to open up other guys. So move around on the field. It just it helps everybody. Helps the team. Is there an element of fun to this offense? Is it, is it different from offenses you played in before? Just Oh, heck yeah, shoot. Uh, we're going deep. We're going to deep. We want to hit those big shots. But the thing is, though, if we want to go to the big shots, I got to start completing more and more and get more consistent. Get that uh, chemistry with Caleb down. Get that chemistry with Miller down because when they come in the game, I want to come easy like vanilla ice cream. So just like, uh, I can't wait. I just can't wait to be out here. Y'all, I can't wait to be out here. Who's impressed you in terms of the defensive backs? Who are you going up with? Who are you, who are you going up against every day? All of them. All of them. Because guys that see, I've seen guys be at the bottom of the depth chart and come out there and just not want to work. These guys are in it to win it. They're going at me. They're stepping up, trying to punch me, trying to do certain things. And I'm like, that's that's the aspect. That's the competition aspect of all this because you want to see everybody want with the same mind the same focus, the same hunger, just to be great at something. Yeah, that's what we got to do. Can you talk about Coaches Heward and Ben Simmons and kind of what stands out about them in the meeting room and kind of the way they approach you guys? Man, so as you guys know, uh, I said before, I thought Simmons was a mellow guy, but shoot, he ain't mellow in that <laughs> many meeting room. But like, hey, I came here to be coached. I came here to take that next step. You see uh, he put out Marquise Brown, CD Lamb, all these great receivers, and that's what we want. That's what I want to be a part of, and that's why I came to SC. Okay, well, Marcus, you said next step. What, what are you hoping to you know, progress with this spring and just work on? Right now, we're going to focus on the team, try to get better, try to get this chemistry with uh, Caleb, and as we'll go from there because, honestly, I can see it in the team. We, we can do anything we put our minds to, and that's all that matters. Thank you. Thanks, Brandon. Thank you.